Hello, my name is Lucia Farnham Hudson, and I am a librarian at the San Jose Public Library. The book that I'm reading today is called Coyote Steals the Blanket. It's a Ute tale, and it's retold and illustrated by Janet Stevens. Coyote darted in and out, back and forth amongst the rocks. I go where I want, I do what I want, I take what I want, he bragged. I should be crowned king of the desert. And then, Hummingbird zoomed by. Whirr, whirr, whirr. Coyote's ears twitched. There's that bird again, he muttered. You're going the wrong way, Hummingbird said. You should take the high road, it's safer. Lay me alone, said Coyote. I go where I want, I do what I want, and I take what I want. There's danger ahead warmed hummingbird. Danger, said Coyote. I'm not afraid of anything. You can't tell me what to do. And Coyote turned and ran off. Hummingbird called after him. Up ahead, there are some beautiful blankets. Whatever you do, don't touch them. Why not, cried Coyote. Because they don't belong to you, answered Hummingbird. Hummingbird doesn't know what she's talking about, thought Coyote. How can there be blankets out here in the middle of nowhere? After a while, Coyote squeezed through a narrow gap. He guessed when he saw what was on the other side. Blankets. That silly old bird was right, he thought. Those blankets are beautiful. But why are they draped over the rocks in the middle of nowhere? Coyote ran over and sniffed one of the blankets. Hmm, I would look fine dressed up in this. I could wear it as a new coat. Now, what was it the hummingbird said that I'm not supposed to touch these blankets? What does she know? Coyote put on his fine new cloak and dashed away. He felt great as he traveled along. I wish someone was around to see me, he thought. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Oh, maybe that's someone now. And the ground started to shake. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Whoever it is sure is big and noisy, said Coyote. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Coyote glanced back. That's not someone. That's a rock and it's coming after me. Coyote ran faster. Rumble, rumble, rumble. The rock picked up speed. That rock looks like the one that was wearing my blanket, said Coyote. But now the blanket belongs to me. Coyote ran on and on through the canyon and finally the rock disappeared. No rock in sight, thought Coyote. I can outrun a rock any day. Rumble, rumble, rumble. The rock was back, and it was coming around the cliff. Oh no, cried Coyote, and he dashed off. Each time Coyote stopped and glanced back, the rock was getting closer. Coyote tried to run faster. He was getting tired. Finally, exhausted, he collapsed into the middle of the path. Surely I'm safe now, he said, but Rumble, 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 the rock was still there. Coyote jumped up and he ran off. Mule deer was grazing nearby. Hey, mule deer, Coyote called out. Can you help me? A killer rock is trying to crush me. I'm weak from all this running. You're so strong. You could stop that rock with your powerful antlers. I am strong, Coyote, Mule Deer agreed, and he puffed out his mighty chest. I will help you. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Mule Deer lowered his giant antlers just as the rock came crashing towards him. Crack went the antlers. Boom went Mule Deer. Rumble, rumble, rumble went the rock, and it headed straight for Coyote. Coyote howled and he darted away. He looked back. That rock was dangerously close. Rumble, rumble, rumble. 
Coyote's paws ached and his muscles hurt. Who does this rock think he is? He thought. I am Coyote. Go away! He screamed. But the rock rolled closer. Coyote saw bighorn sheep resting on the mountainside. Hey, sheep! He called out. Can you help me? A killer rock is trying to crush me, and I'm weak from all this running. You're so strong. You could stop that rock with your powerful legs. Hmm. I am strong, Coyote, said Bighorn Sheep, puffing out his mighty chest. I will help you. Bighorn Sheep lowered his head and kicked his back legs as the rock came crashing towards him. Crunch went his hooves. Boom went Bighorn Sheep. Rumble, rumble, rumble went the rock, and it headed straight for Coyote. Not again! yelped Coyote, and he darted away. It wasn't long before Coyote could go no further. Help! he howled. Someone save me from the killer rock! Give back the blanket, said a tiny voice. Coyote looked up, and there was Hummingbird. Go away, cried Coyote. This is my blanket. I will never give it back. Then you will be running forever, said Hummingbird. I can't run anymore, said Coyote. Then you will be crushed, said Hummingbird. There is a spirit in the rock, an ancient spirit of the great desert. You have taken what does not belong to you. Now you must give it back. No, shouted Coyote. Yes, cried Hummingbird. No, yes, no, yes. Rumble, rumble, rumble. There was that rock again. Help! shouted Coyote. I should leave you to be crushed, said Hummingbird, but I can't stand to see an animal hurt, even a coyote. She whirred her wings with all of her might. She created such a tornado that the dust flew, the wind roared, and the rock rolled to a stop on Coyote's tail. Coyote looked over his shoulder. You stopped the rock, hummingbird, but now my tail will be as flat as a beaver's. Then give back the blanket, said hummingbird, and I will fix your tail. Coyote pulled and pushed, but he couldn't get the rock to budge. All right, he said finally, you win. Here's your blanket. Now fix my tail. Hummingbird took the blanket and then she whirred her wings again until the dust in the wind swirled and she whirred and she whirred. With a crack, the rock fell apart. Hummingbird whirred a little bit more and Coyote's tail fluffed up. This place is full of killer rocks and crazy birds, said Coyote. I'm leaving. Coyote dashed off. Hummingbird shook her head. That Coyote, she said. Will he ever learn? What do you think? Nope. And that was Coyote Steals the Blanket. You can see other story times at sjpl.org.